Hey guys, welcome back to the Shipmate YouTube channel. This week we're going to be talking about storage, more specifically volume-based storage. I'm going to be telling you how to calculate how much space your items take up so you know what your storage bill is going to be. So guys, whether you're working with a 3PL or whether you're working with Amazon FBA or any of these other services, storage is a major fee that shows up at the end of the month that you have to pay. And, you know, storage varies based on how much of it you're using, how much physical space are you using. A lot of 3PLs, including Shipmate, offer both bin sizes and volume-based storage. Bins can be a great way to store merchandise, but so can storing it based on the overall volume. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how to calculate the volume that your item takes up when it is being stored. So let's get started by talking about the unit of storage, which is often and most commonly cubic feet. So cubic feet is defined as a box. It's a 3D object where something is 12 in width, 12 in length and 12 in height. So it's this perfect cube. So imagine a 12 inch cube just sitting here in my hands. That is what a cubic foot looks like if you were to visualize it in three dimensions. And that is what many businesses bill based on. So there'll be a rate and that rate will correspond to how many of these units you are taking up of storage in their warehouse. Now, you can take up a fraction of that unit, you can take up multiple of that unit, but you're gonna be billed based on how many cubic feet you take up. So to give you an idea, here at Shipmate, we do both bin-based storage as well as volume-based storage. And a typical pallet here at Shipmate, which is 40 by 48 by 52 high, is about 58 cubic feet. Just to give you an idea, you know, how much space that is. So, you know, if you're storing with us or you're storing with Amazon, you're gonna be paying based on that amount of space that it's taking up. So what I have here today is a couple items. I have a knife set, which we know is a nice, easy to use box. You know, we're gonna get some sharp, easy measurements on here that we're gonna be able to do cleanly. And I got a toilet seat because this toilet seat, as you can tell, it's not a perfect square. It's not a perfect box. And I'm gonna show you how you get the volume of both of these things. So let's start off the knife set. So the knife set, like I said, is a perfectly perfect box, right? We got six flat sides and each one of these sides we can measure out. So if I take my handy dandy yardstick here, you can see that the box is 10 and a half by 14 and a quarter by four. So to make this simple, I'm just going to round those numbers off. So we're going to say 15, 10, and 4, right? So 4 times 10 is 40 times 15 is 600. So this box is 600 cubic inches. So you want to remember, we just measured this box in inches, not in feet. So we're not quite at cubic feet, but I can tell you that this box has 600 of, li of little one inch by one inch cubes making it up. Now, when you take this into consideration, you're gonna have to convert between cubic inches and cubic feet. To do that, all you're gonna do is divide the number of cubic inches that you have by 1,728. The way you get this number is you multiply 12 by 12 by 12. So when I divide my 600 cubic inch box by 1728, I'm gonna get a much smaller number. That number is going to be closer to one third of a cubic foot. It's gonna be a little less than that, but let's just say this box is about one third of a cubic foot. So you know that three of these take up one cubic foot and I can use that to multiply by the storage rate to figure out how much I'm gonna pay in storage to store my knives. Now, this is when things get a little more complicated. I'm gonna bring the toilet seat in there. So like I said, this toilet seat here, it's not a perfect square. So 
So a lot of times a fulfillment company or Amazon is going to run this through what is known as a CubaScan. The CubaScan is going to use lasers to measure the furthest point in length, width, and height on this item. And it's going to square that off. So imagine a giant box drawn perfectly around this item. That is what the CubaScan is going to use when it determines how much space this item takes up. So for example, when I go to measure the, the width of this product, I'm going to measure from the most extreme points, right? The most extreme points, which would be this very middle piece and this top when this thing is squished. I'm going to get 18 and a half inches at the most extreme points. Then I'm going to do the same thing when I go to get the length. I'm going to go from the most extreme point to the most extreme point, which gets me 14 and a half. Finally, I'm going to do the same thing with the height. So I know that this toilet seat is the tallest up here. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to drop it down here. And we're going to get a height of two and a quarter. So we're going to do like I did before. And we're going to just round those numbers to make the math easy. So we got 18, 15, and 4. 15 times 4 is 60. 60 times 18 is 1080. Know that this item is about 1080 in space that it occupies if it was a perfect square. So what we can then do is take that number I said before, which is 1728, and we can divide that number from 1080. And what we're gonna get is we're gonna get a number that's a little smaller than uh, two thirds of a cubic foot. So this item, we're gonna be able to put three of them within two cubic feet. So that means if I have 10 cubic feet, I'm going to have 15 of them. And if I have 100 cubic feet, I'm going to have 150 of them. So that way I can sit there and I can calculate how much space my item is gonna take up. And when I multiply that again by the cost of storage per cubic foot, I can figure out exactly what my storage bill is gonna be on this toilet seat even though this was not a perfect item, you know, in a box shape. So what you can do is you can apply this to any item you have. So, you know, you want to measure from the most extreme point to the most extreme point in each one of those dimensions, and that'll cube it off. So then you can get a good idea of the storage. Now, you can also do the same thing with your master cases. So if the item comes in a master case, like let's say I had a box with six of these toilet seats, I could get the cubic inches of that box, you know, divide that 1728 from it and figure out how many cubic feet that master case takes up. So I'm storing it in a master case. I might do that instead. And that's mostly what we do here at Shipmate. Um, so this is a skill that I think is really important because once you know how to find out how many cubic feet something occupies, you're able to find out how much it costs to store that individual item per month. And that's going to help you with your profitability calculations. That's going to help you with a lot of just business skills that you're going to need to run your online store. You're going to know how much you can ship on a pallet. You're going to know how much you can store at one place. You're going to know if I multiply the volume of this one item times Amazon storage weight, this is how much it's going to cost me to store this piece. There's a lot of valuable information that you can then, you know, get around to because you went ahead and you, know, you found the, 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 the volume that the item occupies using cubic inches and converting the cubic feet. So I hope this was a really informative video. I just want to point out, guys, we're almost at 500. We got a new subscriber counter going over here and we're trying to get to that 500 and we need your help to do it. So if you guys, you know, give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a comment down below. We're still giving away those shipmate bags, you know, Check them out, they're pretty nice. You know, we're gonna mail these to some lucky, some lucky viewers. Maybe it could be you. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week.